going on guys? Welcome back to Make It or Break It Monday, the show that helps you get your head right so you can start your week right. Today we're talking about how do you build a fire so big that people around you can't help but take notice? Many of you are already building that fire, right? You, many of you are already creating professional development plans for your team and really using those as a way to cast your vision and cast what you're trying to accomplish as a leader of your sales team across every single member of your team. As you guys do that, I wanna give you some words of encouragement. First one is, remember, you have a personal brand as a leader. And people work hard for leaders and causes that they believe in. So understand that if you're representing that as your core values and as your personal brand, it's gonna help you build that fire to be able to attract more attention and more followers to come in and understand what you're trying to accomplish because you have a clear vision and you're trying to work through how to create that culture that you're looking for. Understand too that, understand also that you, when you go in and you're starting to work with different people, not everyone is gonna see immediate value in what you do. And that's okay because not everyone has that same mission and values that you're trying to portray. And that's sometimes, it, it's good to get differing opinions but you want to be able to bring them in to be able to create that culture, that synergy within your entire team. So what do you do when you're working hard towards that and someone's not buying in? Well, you gotta stay the course, right? You have to keep creating value, keep leading with that strategic vision that you have for your team because at a certain point, you're gonna get some followers, and then you're gonna get a few more, and then you're gonna get a few more after that, and then soon you're gonna be able to have a tribe, a tribe that has those same values and the same mission of what you're gonna to want to accomplish, and a loyal following that actually believes what you're about and actually puts it into practice for you. And that means they're physically taking action to follow the path that you set out in front of them. And that's some of the biggest buy-in you can ever get is when someone on your team starts using your language, your words, and goes about teaching others the way that you've gone about teaching them. So soon you have a, you have a tribe where your fire is burning so big that other people are starting to gather around to figure out, hey, what's, what's going on over here? Why is this person having so much success? Why is this person taking on new responsibilities? I see the growth in other people on my team. And you start to bring in those other outsiders, quote unquote outsiders, that may not have bought in to that original vision and culture that you portrayed and maybe even bought into some of the things that you said while you're trying to work through their development plans. And soon, hopefully they come by and they're starting to warm their hands by the fire and that's helping catch fire to your cause and bring in everybody else from your team as well. Because at that point, then you're actually creating a culture. You're leading a tribe at that point, right? And you're creating a positive movement towards what you're trying to accomplish. So remember, as you go through this, there are gonna be some, some downfalls, there's gonna be some struggles, but you gotta stay true to your vision. Do this with your teams and see how big you can get that fire to burn. Have a good week, guys.